Hey guys, what's going on today? This is me, Dal Su, back with another episode of the most beautiful version of Banished Deliveracy. Life is Feudal Forge Village is the real name of the game. So we started out our last episode with a fisherman's lodge, a nice forester on top of this hill over here. Uh, we've got a potato field that's no longer working, and we've upgraded mm, about half. I was going to say most. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have kicked them out, huh? No, they've got places to go. They are expecting a baby, though. <laughs> Better not kick him out. Too late. No, it's not too late. We didn't actually press the little hammer. We can kick you guys out, though. No problem. And we've got our resident builder who's going to get right to it. I know I have the resource limit one up. I meant to have the... Village info? Yeah, okay. Still plenty of fish. Got that stone brought over. Got everything brought over. So it's up to the builder now. And our professions are mostly full. We could use some more wood choppers, probably. One might be okay for a little while. I'm not getting a whole lot of wood from, from you guys. Takes them a while before they actually. We also need to clear all this out so that more room for trees to grow. But I digress. Why are you just doing nothing? We don't want people just doing nothing. Come over here and start working on that cleanup. Plenty of stone to be had. If you're just loafing, you might as well do that. They're actually kind of following the path, more or less. I guess they're programmed to want to follow the path. This guy followed it like pretty much exactly. Okay, well that's nice. Good programming. They don't always follow it in Banished. Did we get our improvement done? We did. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till this baby's born before I kick anyone out. Can't be having the newborn mother out in the cold. Anyone else expecting a baby? Nope. I suppose it's just a random chance. But we need more babies. We also need the food to supply them with. Which is why I'll probably end up doing a hunter's cabin up here and also a gatherer's hut up here in this little wooded area. It's very far away from the village, but I'm pretty sure the people will make the walk. Pretty sure. And we haven't done anything about the ore. Let's clear out some ore there too. And also any hay that's around. Just go ahead and clean that area up for trees. It'd be great. Then we can start thinking about maybe a school next. I could fill in this little cove for some extra space, like that's right close to my village. Probably what I'll do actually is fill in this cove and then I'll start pushing out this way. And maybe this way too. I could also fill in this pond if I really wanted to. It's going to take forever, but might have to be done at some point. Every shack is improved except for the one with the baby. Okay. That's to be expected. Do we want to throw down a school at this point? They are a bit expensive. We don't have the wood. We don't have the stone. We don't have the ore. So I think we wait on that uh, until our couple extra people are born or grow up at least these two when they grow up we'll be able to keep the um, resource gathering going I think this is so far away it's gonna take forever for them to clear but we've got to do it it's following the path at least zigzagging <laughs> I need to just make a ramp from right here that goes straight up that's an idea actually you can make a ramp one of the cooler things you can terraform. Um, I don't really know the best way to do this, but I'm just gonna try, so bear with me. So you do it like that, no, that didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. It's a little bit derpy. I think we must have actually done that. <laughs> let's see what they make of that and then we'll come back to it. I wanna spend a bunch of time. I might do it out off camera because it's so unwieldy. I know it's not too entertaining to watch someone use a tool that they're not super competent with. 
It could be if you <laughs> if you just wanted to laugh. All right, winter time. You're starting to you're starting to wear on me here. We've got plenty of food though. That's a good thing. Maybe another fishery here and then like a barn down here eventually. I don't know. We'll think about it. Last game when I built the hunting lodge and stuff, it didn't really seem to do all that much for me. Like it brought a little fresh meat, but didn't seem to do a great job. Everybody's eating up the bread right now. That's why we don't have a run on fish. Once the run once once the bread is gone, we might have a run on fish. I think that's the only reason we're so stockpiled right now. So we might want to do another farm. We got a new person ready for work. So we could put them into chopping wood, but we have enough firewood with just the one. We could have him just gather, which is probably what he's already doing. So we'll probably leave him be. Because we need uh, we need materials for, for the schoolhouse. We're going to need to chop some more wood as well. Yeah, it's a little bit slow starting off. Let's uh, speed it up for a second. Yeah, I definitely am not seeing people eat as much fish as I'm seeing them eat. But although, they just went and got some fish. so I, It might be that this one fishery could, could help us out. A baby was finally born. That's nice. And we have another person. We have two more people expecting a baby. Which is cool. Our total population is starting to go up a little bit. We probably need a warehouse or something up here for the wood and the and the ore and stuff. It's just a long way to walk. It's a very long way to walk, even with the path. I hit them all zigzag. All right. Now, this is the only house that's not improved, so we need to keep our resident builder busy. No, that one's improved. That one's improved. This is the one. Okay. Let's do it. Plenty of space for you elsewhere. Although this one's full now. Food reserves are low. What? They're not. It's a scary message to be getting, but they're not low. wonder why it thinks that. Hmm. I wonder what I have oats for. People can't just eat the oats. There's probably some kind of preparation. All right, so we got the improved house now. All improved shacks, which is nice. Hopefully that'll encourage people to make babies. Looks like another baby was just born. Sweet. Anyone else expecting? Yep. Yep. Two more expected. Yeah, it's definitely about time with all these kitties coming up, the second generation. It's definitely about time for a house. <coughs> Sorry, a school. So... What I'm going to do is say just clear all resources, and then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to hope that that will be enough to get the school going. <clears throat> Sorry, losing my voice here. Hope that will be enough to get the school going. And in the meantime, I'm just going to throw it down, I think. Right here. Right next to this field. <clears throat> get some water. So that's happening. A lot of resources have to go into that school, but it's an important step up in our productivity levels. Looks like winter's finally over, which is nice. A new baby was born, which is nice. And one of the persons expecting. So we should have a good uh, four or five more laborers before too long. We probably want to go with the hunting lodge or the gathering. I think the gathering the gatherer is slightly better. But I don't know. How did that ramp work out? Looks like all it managed to do is destroy <laughs> destroy the road. Good job, guys. We'll have them rebuild that. Shouldn't take long. 
All right, this is sleeping because a lack of lack of wood, I guess. Yeah. This ha this clearing hasn't even started yet. They're still so busy over here. It's just we have a, not enough people to do all the stuff that we need them to do. Especially now that winter time's over, everyone's going back to work. I think one wood chopper is good for right now. It seems like one wood chopper is gonna gonna do the trick. We are a lot lower on bread than we were. It makes me worried that once we run out of bread, there's gonna be just a huge rush on fish. But we'll also have some potatoes to supplement it. Although this little bitty field is not really gonna help us out all that much. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't think we're going to starve to death just yet. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you see me make some grievous error. Firewood chopper's not working, but he's not at a thousand. But he doesn't have wood, is why. Okay. Because this guy has sucked up. Well, I'm just going to stop that sentence right there. The forester is super slow. It's much faster chopping manually. How's this clearing going? Is it going at all? What are you doing, you little one worker man carrying resources? Stone to the school. Stone to the school. Wood to the school. Okay. So you're not actually doing any of the clearing, are you? Fair enough. Yeah, we will run out of bread shortly. And it's going to be all fish for supper. And and some veg, fish and chips, basically. Be like fine British cuisine. <laughs> I don't know if this field might be a little too small for a significant amount. I mean, it's going to give us 256, right? So... 256 should feed us for half the winter at the current population, I would think. No more babies expected? Nope. Better, you guys better have some babies here. I've got five babies that we need to rear up, so that should take a lot of our time and, and energy, <laughs> I guess. Just feeding them. It's weird that meat has less calories or one more calorie only than vegetables. That seems a little inaccurate. Bread and meat have the same calories, but fish pie has a bunch more. Yeah, we need to upgrade to like the next level of food. We never really managed to do that in the last one, and I think that had a lot to do with it. I mean, this is basically saying that this is three times as good as the meat. So we probably should do that. We've almost got all our materials. Looks like ore is going to be a problem too. Okay. So we got plenty of stuff around here to clear away. Just taking their time because it's just the one guy. Or girl. She's taking ore. Okay. That pass seems to help out a little bit. I don't know. Can't be sure, but... This is cool. They've got their laundry hung out. Does anyone else have their laundry hung out? That's cool. It's just the one. Huh. Interesting. It's not going to do much good in the rain. Don't think you're going to see that getting dry very fast. That is a nice touch to the model, though. The models are slightly different. There's a box there instead of a barrel. Almost there, man. Almost there. We'll have a school in no time. And someone else grew up and is ready to work. Excellent. So now we got double the <laughs> the workforce. And they're mining and they're delivering and they're doing all this stuff. It's great. What's the builder doing in the meantime? He must be collecting resources. Yeah. It says you're carrying resources. You must be going to the warehouse to pick up 
one wood and bring it over. <laughs> All right, then. Going for tools. Yeah, we're going to have to think about tools and clothing before too long. Seems like we can survive without them for a while. It was a while in the last series before I actually got tools. Okay, we ready here? Yeah, he's harvesting. And he's got pretty much a straight shot to the barn. Good deal. Good, good. We're getting those veg. Bring me the veg. And one of the tips is always make sure your your field is next to your barn, I guess. Which means we don't really have too many other places for fields. We might do one right here. It's a good idea, actually. I'm not going to do it now. It's not a good time to plant, but soon. Our firewood seems to be holding out. We've also got all the wood logs and everything else wait no, we don't have enough hay hay is kind of a, a, a weird one because it can be a little bit hard to locate I'm not sure if it regrows or not but you can eventually farm for it once you have excess labor but it is something that can be kind of hard to get your hands on in in great great numbers But yeah, that's what that's where we're at. We're gonna have to wait. <laughs> the schoolhouse can't be built because there's not enough hay. It's horrible. How are we doing with our spare labors? Carrying food to the house, that's not what I wanted you to do. Carrying to storage, the ore. I need to follow you around a little bit. I'm not sure how to focus the camera. I know how to I know how to um, possess the person, but then she'll be even less productive if I possess her. I want to see sort of what her day-to-day -day work is. She's going up here to pick up two ore and then going all the way back down. That's what's taken so long is transporting the stuff up and down that hill. So, yeah, that's not great, but it sort of had to be done, I guess. There shouldn't be a whole lot left. She's getting hay, good. She's also getting hay. Making hay while the sun shines. I wonder if this well is close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. She can get water anytime she needs it, right? All right, babies, you need to start growing up but not until I finish this damn school. We need just like 50 or or 60 hay. Can we do that? Can we get any more hay? I'm not seeing a lot around. I'm pretty sure it doesn't regrow, which is odd. It's gonna get me a whopping six. Three, 12. Six. All right, get that hay. Eventually, we will have to grow it. Like I said, we can't spare this, the the uh, labor right now. Sarai has grown up and is ready to study. Too bad. There's no school for her. We're working on it. She'll have to be self-sufficient for a little while. Thing about hay is it's it's really quick to um to harvest. Like for stone, they gotta sit there and chip at it for like five minutes and then carry it right away. But with hay, it's just like boom, done. She's got hay. So we've got eighty one, eighty four. We've got all the ore we need. We just need a little bit more hay. She's chopping a tree. That's good. See how long it takes her to chop. 
So am I to believe that they're done with most of the stuff up here? It seems like I don't see anybody up here. There are a few more X's that haven't been done, but for the most part. All right, we should be getting close here. It's taking a while. We got children growing up. They're probably going to all miss the chance to go to school. That's fine. It'll be it'll be the next generation. That's the well-educated ones. Anyway, guys, I think that about wraps it up. I'm going to do a slightly shorter video today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.